Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Triangle ABC is inscribed in a circle with AB equal to AC equal to 12. Construct chord AD that intersects the chord BC at point E. Suppose AE is equal to 8. The question is then, what is the length of the chord AD? The multiple choice options are 16, 18, 20, and there is not enough information to solve the problem. I thank Kevin for the suggestion. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. To solve this problem, construct the chord DC. Now triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle with AB equal to AC. Therefore, the angles ABC and ACB are equal to each other, and let their measure be equal to theta. Now angle ABC is an inscribed angle of the circle, and it subtends the chord AC. But we also have angle ADC is another inscribed angle of the circle, and it subtends the same arc AC. Therefore, the inscribed angle ADC also has measure equal to the angle ABC, so it's also equal to theta. Now, we will show that triangles ADC and ACE are similar. They have two equal angles of theta, and then DAC is equal to EAC. To see this more clearly, here's triangle ADC and here's triangle ACE. To see how they're similar, we will scale down this triangle, then we will rotate it, and finally we will flip it. Here's another illustration of how the two triangles are similar. Clearly they have two angles that are equal to theta, and then the angles A are equal to each other. So we have mirror images that are scaled from each other. Therefore, we have AD over AC in the green triangle is equal to AC over AE in the blue triangle. But we know that AC is equal to 12 and AE is equal to 8, so we can solve for AD. AD is then equal to 12 squared divided by 8, which is equal to 18. Thus, the correct answer is B. Now there's another interesting footnote to this problem. While we can solve for the length of the chord AD, we cannot solve for the radius of the circle. So it's actually interesting that the length AD is the same in all of these circles, even though the radius of these circles are different. Amazing! Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.